me some ice Just give me a pinch and save a buzz for my pillow Salt me a prawn Talk to me nice, you got to wine And the time I'm getting hungry Fill me a grave I'm Laura Bonicelli, and we are cooking with Italian style. It's not always fast, it's not always easy, and it's not always Italian. We use the freshest and finest ingredients that we can find and afford, and we not only savor the meals we make, but we savor making them. That is cooking with Italian style. This week, straight off my solo menu, is my succulent cornbread and pancetta stuffed pork chops, served with my very fast, very easy, and very delicious roasted haricot verde with walnuts. You will be downloading this recipe. Let's get cooking. There are a few things I like to do with these pork chops. One is to just make them, cook them, and eat them. The second is to make them a day ahead, store them in the fridge, and then just cook them up the next day. It only takes 20 minutes. And that puts them in the fast food category because you're basically separating the prep from the cooking. And the third thing is, is to double, triple, quadruple the recipe, whatever you feel like, and freeze them individually. Then I just take them out a day ahead, let them thaw in the refrigerator, and cook them as I would normally. So we're going to start with our stuffing. What I have here is a quarter cup each of chopped fennel, chopped red onion, and chopped baby portobello mushrooms. The fennel, I just basically cut the top off, peeled it, and cut it up like I would an onion. Just take the core out. Onion, just like an onion. And the baby portobellos, I just wiped with a damp cloth, took the stem out, and chopped them up. So this is my pancetta. It's often called Italian bacon, but it is not smoked like bacon is, so I personally don't think it tastes at all like bacon. And when people substitute bacon for pancetta, I think it is really a different taste. Anyway, this is cured with salt and spices instead of smoked, and I'm just gonna chop that up. And then, after I'm done with this, I'm gonna heat a tablespoon and a half of oil in a saute pan, and we'll get our vegetable sauteing. So I have my oil heating over a medium heat, and I'm putting in my vegetables. Stir them around. I want them to just soften, so about five minutes over medium heat. Perfect. Now I'm adding in my pancetta, and I'm going to let this go for about three minutes, keeping my eye on it. I want this to crisp up. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, that smells fantastic, that pancetta and onion together. Now I'm going to cut the heat on this, set it aside, and we'll put our stuffing together. To finish off my stuffing, I'm taking a corn muffin, which I have in my freezer. I thawed it out, and just crumbling it up. And this is going to work out to be well, roughly a half a cup of cornbread. You could use cornbread if you wanted to. And I'm going to include my cornbread recipe for you, or my corn muffin recipe for you. There we go, just like that. And then to that we add our sautéed vegetables and pancetta. And this is a pinch of sage and a pinch of dried thyme, both dried, and then just a little bit of pepper. You'll notice that I'm not going to add any salt to this because the pancetta has enough salt. We don't want to get it too salty. We'll just stir that up. For our pork chops, I'm going to take one of these and I have here a very sharp fillet knife. I'm just, just going to make an incision right in the center of the side, toward the bone. Now working to the left horizontally and making sure that I don't cut through the whole thing, I just am making a pocket. And then I turn the knife around, put it back in the same hole and do the same thing going the other way. Again, being careful not to cut all the way through. Perfect. Okay, and now, just to make sure that I actually did get this opened up completely, I'm going to just take my finger and run it through. That helps create the space as well. And now I take my stuffing. Now here's the messy part, and there's nothing to be done about that. <laughs> you just have to work slowly here and stuff stuffing into this little hole. Um, 
one of the reasons I like to do this this way is because it's inside the meat and it's not, you know, like in a butterfly chop, it's, it, it stays so nice and moist. Okay, we're getting, we're getting nice and plump here. We're almost finished with this one. Yep, I think we've got it. Okay. On to my second chop. So I'm heating two tablespoons of butter over medium-high heat. And now you can see how that's foamed up and starting to subside. It's ready to brown our beautiful pork chops. We'll set those in there. You can hear them sizzle. Second one. All right, and these are going to go for two minutes on each side. All right, checking. Yep, we are ready to go. Let's just flip this over. You can see how nice this is. The stuffing pretty much stays in the pork chop. Get that flipped. Two minutes on this side. Okay, now I'm going to just take these out of here and use some paper towels to get rid of the butter in the pan. We don't need it anymore and it's too brown. All right, now I'm putting them back in. You can see that pan is still quite hot. And I'm going to add in half a cup of my homemade chicken stock. And a third of a cup of apple cider vinegar. And this liquid is just going to cook these beautiful chops, but we're not actually going to serve it. So, now, cover this, cook them for 15 minutes, and they'll be absolutely perfect. Let's do our vegetables. Anyone that orders for my fresh meal delivery service knows that I love roasting vegetables. It completely changes the flavor of them. So what I have here is a pound of Herocovera, and I'm going to just use half of these because we're only feeding two people. I just put them right into a roasting dish pan. And I'm going to do these in my toaster oven, which actually does a fantastic job of roast roasting vegetables. Okay, so we have a half a pound of our Herocovera and then a half a cup of walnuts. Toss those in. Then a little salt, a little pepper, maybe a little more pepper, and a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I just eyeball this. Then get my hands dirty, toss them all together. That's all there is to it. I'm going to throw them in at a 400 degree toaster oven for roughly 18 to 20 minutes and they will be fantastic. Okay, when this is all done, we'll be ready to plate. So everything is out and ready to go and the timing was absolutely perfect. My meat has been sitting here for about 10 minutes, which is just what you want. You want the juices to redistribute and let it settle down a bit before you serve it. It's pretty much that way with any meat that you serve. And my Herocover and walnuts are perfectly done. Remember to stir them every once in a while while you're roasting them and watch the walnuts. You don't want them to burn. So everything is set and I can smell the nuttiness of those walnuts and I can smell the sharpness of that apple cider vinegar. I cannot wait to eat this. So, here I go. And I'm just lifting our pork chop onto the plate. See how plump? Oh, that is just beautiful. It's going to be so moist cooking in that liquid. Now here are Herocover. You could brown these even a little more if you wanted to. I like them kind of when they're this color, but oh, just beautiful. Maybe a little bit more. So now I'm going to cut into this just so you can see that all that work was worth it. Surprise! I really hope you enjoy making my cornbread and pancetta stuffed pork chops with roasted haricover and walnuts. Please check out my website for solo programs and more cooking videos. And bon appetito!